Hi guys! Okay, so today we're going to show you how to wash your dog properly. So we used, we already did it and we're just going to go back. So we, um, if you want to see one more time, this is the dog shampoo right there. And this smells like apples and it, it smells like apple pie and it, it's really good. And then okay, this is the flea and tick shampoo that we used. And you always need to use some sort of flea and tick remover to kill but, all the fleas and ticks. And you're going to need a towel and something that could get wet, like a sports bra, and we wore shorts. And um, before you give him a bath, or give him or her a bath, make sure you take off the color. Okay, so if you want to watch uh, the dog being washed, there it is. Stay in tune. Okay, so right now we're going to be turning the water on and we want to have the bathtub filled up all the way, or not all the way, just a little bit above his paws and um, make sure it's lukewarm. And we're using these two different types of shampoos, one that smells like apple pie and one for ticks and fleas. So we're just filling up the tub right now and you have to make sure you rinse off the dog a lot before you add on the shampoo because his fur needs to be wet, nice and wet. We're laying him down to make sure that he's super wet. So now mm. we're going to use the shampoo. Here's the doggy shampoo that smells like apple pie. And you just want to get it everywhere. Make sure you get his um, snout, his paws, and his ears very good, and his belly. And also get his tail. And just get just, everywhere. Yeah, just lather it really, really nicely into the fur. And then um, add some more. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Lather, lather, lather. And we're going to take it off. And, yeah, we're going to take it off right now. Make sure you have all of it off so we can, um, so it doesn't stay in his fur. And then now we're going to use the Tick shampoo. It has a bit of a strong smell. So afterwards, we're going to put on the uh, Apple shampoo again. But you need to make sure you put the Tick shampoo, especially in his snout, ears, and paws, and tail. Because those are common places where ticks and fleas will be found on dogs so yeah so then rinse them off really well again and then and then reapply the apple pie shampoo on and this time get it very good so you get the strong smell off and um get it under his belly and yeah just everywhere again and this time you need to um rinse it off very well yeah and you need to start letting out the water um when you rinse him because you don't want the soapy water to stay on his paws and everything, which is why the tub is empty. So rinse, rinse, rinse. You have to make sure you get his belly rinsed. So really you want well. him laying down and get his neck and belly. And as we're doing right now, we're trying to yeah there. And there we go. And and finished. Then you just need you to tie him off. And don't let him shake inside the house because his fur and his so um, the shedding finished product. Is the gonna get happy, everywhere. healthy, finished product. Clean dog. Happy, healthy, finished dog. Clean 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 d